and welcome to Tools to Create a Better Life with myself, Glenice Hughes. I am so incredibly grateful that you are here, whether you're watching this as a video or listening to it as an audio. Uh, this has been now almost two years that we've been doing this, and yet every once in a while I still want people to know that there's lots of ways to consume this weekly show, uh, podcast or radio show or whatever you might want to call it, but we've got YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and oh my gosh, all the things. Oh, and then of course all of the uh, podcast apps like Spotify and Apple and all the other ones that I don't know. Uh, so you can access this anywhere. You can search tools to create a better life. Uh, you could probably even search my name if you could figure out how to spell it uh, and find it that way. So what are we going to talk about this week? Well, I am in the midst of facilitating yet another phenomenal foundation class, which is one of the classes from Access Consciousness. If you're not familiar, you can go to accessconsciousness.com for more information about all the amazing classes. It's really where all of the tools that I share on this radio show are from. They are life-changing and amazing. So, tools to change anything. Yep, anything because that's what these tools do. You can actually utilize these tools to change anything. Now you hear me share them in all sorts of ways. Maybe you've been following me a bit on Instagram in my reels or on TikTok lately, where I've been sharing magical money tricks, which you can use those on anything. One, you can go opt in and get the, the free downloads. I did a video, there's a PDF with five questions and there's phone wallpaper uh, with my number one question for more money. So you can go grab that, that's a gift for you. Uh, but basically these tools can be used on anything. So first tool, now there's, I wouldn't say there's any such thing as like there's the number one tool of all tools. And if I was gonna say that, <laughs> it's this one. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. <sighs> Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. So how do you use this? Now, before I go into this, even if you've been here for a while, even if you've used this tool a million times, take a moment and listen. Because <laughs> I know what you're like. Because <laughs> I'm like that too, be like, oh, I know how to use that. And then you stop paying attention. But let's all just be present for a moment. Okay, there we go. So what you're looking at with interesting point of view using this tool is any time that you have an interesting point of view, any time you're judging, you're comparing, you're projecting, you're expecting, you're insane, you're do whatever it is, whenever you're not being the allowance that you actually be, you want to use this tool. And it's so simple, just in your head. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. And that's what I do. I give myself some space between saying it to give space to the energy to start dissipating it. So you could do it really quickly. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. It just might not create what you're looking for. It may, you just wanna check in. That's always the thing. You always just wanna check in with yourself. It's, if it's changing it, do it how it works. For me, I know that that space of like, <sighs> in between gifts it that. So let's say you're driving to work and you're annoyed because there's heavy traffic. You're annoyed because it's snowing. You're annoyed because you left, you know, your your partner in a in a tiff or something. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. <sighs> Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Bring it up, think about it and repeat that over and over and over and allow yourself the space to change it. All you're doing is identifying it's just a point of view, which means it's not real, it's not significant, it's not black and white, it's just an interesting point of view. You do that enough times, it no longer has a hold over you. Now you have more space to make a different choice. So whatever the problem is, whatever the thing is that isn't working, whatever it is that you would like to change, add interesting point of view to it, and let's say it's something that occurred last week. So you're not in it in that moment. You're, you're remembering it. 
you're reliving it possibly. Maybe you're having, now maybe this is just me, pretty sure it's not though, of like where you're replaying it in your head. Oh, I should have said this, I should have said like that insanity. All you have to do is like, just think of that thing, that situation, that person, that whatever. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. <sighs> Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Over and over until it just changes it. So it doesn't matter if it's past, if you're worried about something coming up in the future, same thing. Think about it, repeat that over and over. I said this already, I'm gonna repeat it again though. You do not have to say this out loud. And in fact, if you're saying it to somebody, you're probably being a superior bitch and stop it, stop it. A lot of times people find these tools and they start using them, but then <laughs> they start basically killing everyone around them with them. That's not what these tools are for. Just for you, just for fun. Never tell anyone. So if you're aware that the person talking to you is having an interesting point of view, don't tell them they're having an interesting point of view. That's not kind. But you in your head can say interesting point of view. They have that point of view. So you can have more space with it. So that is one tool. And you hear me talk about it all the time. If you've been around a while, if you're new here, hi, nice to meet you. Uh, and otherwise, you know, it's just, it's one of those that is, is, can change anything so quickly in my experience. The other way that I've used it is for body stuff. Like, let's say I wasn't feeling well. I would actually just focus on where I'm not feeling well. So let's say I was feeling congested, like a cold-like thing. I would focus on that, or focus isn't the right word. I would be present with it. That's what I'm looking for. I'd be present with that energy, the congestion, and interesting point of view, I have this point of view. <sighs> interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. So simple, my sweet friends, so simple. And for me, it changes it very, very quickly. So that's one tool to change anything. Another tool, and I don't, I haven't probably shared this all that much. It's not one that I've really used a whole lot, but I was talking about it in the foundation class this morning, which is just popping into my mind now. So let's say you're in a situation that you would like to be different. You're frustrated with it. You're upset with it. It's not what you'd like it to be. A question you can ask, what is funny about this that I'm not getting? <laughs> yeah, right? It just changes it because there's always something funny about it. And if you're stuck in the drama trauma of the thing, then you're in a very solid, heavy, icky energy. But by asking what's funny about this that I'm not getting, <sighs> there's that lightness. And ultimately, guys, that's what we're always looking for is more lightness. Because when we're in the problem, when we're in the drama trauma, when we're in the crazy, that's the contractive and that's the heavy. What about the lightness? What about the lightness, my sweet friends? So what's funny about this I'm not getting is such a quick way to change it. The other way, different sort of a question, but very same idea. What's right about this I'm not getting? So same idea, just a different energy to it. Um, but I know a lot of people, when they, when they hear that, they go, oh, no, but, but if we're choosing consciousness, we don't do right and wrong, so I can't ask that question. <laughs> you can. <laughs> but you just want to recognize we're not asking from the place of like, what's right about this so we can figure out what's right, not from that. Usually what we're doing before we become aware to ask that question is we're in the wrongness. Oh, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with this situation? What's wrong with this person? So when we change it to what's right about this, we change the energy of the situation. So it, it just depends. What's funny about this? I really like that one. And what's right about this? Either one of those will change any situation, any situation. Because again, when there's contraction, once we change it to lightness, that's where the awareness is. That's where the possibilities is. And that is where the magic is. And another tool is to recognize that your point of view is what's creating your reality. It's your point of view. So you don't have to figure out what your point of view is and change that. You could, that's one way, but a really quick kind of way around that is when you recognize you're in something, there's something going on you don't like, you, you know you're choosing it, you know you're creating it, you could ask, if I didn't have a point of view here, what magic could I create? What magic could I be here? 
it changes it because we're we're not taking our time to figure out all the interesting points of views we're playing with. We're just saying, hey, if I didn't hold on to any of this, what magic could I be? What magic could I create? Which then, guess what? We go from the heavy contraction ah, to the lightness, which is what we're looking for. That's the stuff that's going to change it for us is getting into that lightness and whatever it takes to get there. And this is just one really quick way around it, really quick acknowledgement that we are the creators of our life. Because a lot of times when we're in that ickiness, when we're in the problem, drama, etc., we're playing a victim. We're going, well, I would change this, but that person won't let me, or this wouldn't be happening if they didn't do this, or if the government wasn't that, or if the... <sighs> if I didn't have a point of view here, what magic could I be? changes everything and with questions we're not looking for answers so when i ask that i'm not going okay so what magic could i be let me figure out the magic i could be <laughs> it's just not going to work like that it's just asking that question we're going to go to the lightness and then the universe is going to deliver the magic okay our job is just to ask the question be the question be the lightness change anything that isn't light into lightness and the universe will do the rest. And another tool to change anything is to always be in the question of yourself of, what would I like to create here? There's so much value in the problem. We put so much energy into the problem. I need to think about the problem, I need to figure out the problem, I need to spin on the problem, I need to talk about the problem with the 10 people around me, and then I'll, and then I'll fix the problem, and then I won't have the problem, and then I'll choose something different. <laughs> Sorry, doesn't work that way. The only time you'll choose something different is when you choose something different. So the value that we've put into the problem is what we need to stop. And we need to ask ourselves, hey, what would I like to create here? So again, let's go to the example of you driving to work and you're, you're upset about the traffic. It's really heavy traffic and, and you're late already. And you're in that place of this is so stupid and I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to deal with this traffic and I hate traffic and I left early so I didn't have to and all that stuff. That energy is not going to change anything. However, asking, hey, what would I like to create here? Now, it's often <laughs> the exact opposite of what you're creating. It's often like, well, I'd like to have ease with the traffic. I'd like to get to my appointment on time. And that's all you need to do. Turn it into what you'd like to create and then ask for that. Like, and, and the way that I ask sounds a little bit different than an ask, but it's a still an ask. I wonder what it would be like to get to the appointment on time. I wonder what it would be like to have ease with driving right now. So I wonder about it, which is, is similar to a question, or you could ask, what would it take? What would it take to have ease with this right now? What would it take to get to my appointment on time? What magic could I be to get there on time? So you're turning it into your ask of what you would like, which is getting you out of the solidity of the problem and into the lightness once again. Yes, and that's what we're looking for. So some really simple, easy to use tools, my sweet friends, to get you out of the problem and into the space, the lightness to change it as if by magic. So depending on when you're watching this, sweet friends, I would love to invite you to the Projections, Expectations, Separations, Judgments, Rejections book club that I have starting on March 8th, 2022. And of course, if you're listening later, you can always access the, the um, recordings and stuff. Uh, link will be the same. So you'll find that link somewhere. If you can't find it, let me know. And Pool Party Bars and Foundation in July of 2022. Come and play, bring your swimsuit. And just so you know, the class is not in the pool. I'm sorry for those of you who would like that, but it is not. The class is in the, in the class space. And then before class, at lunch break and after class, the pool is open for your use. So just for anybody who thinks that we're having class in the pool, we are not. <laughs> How does it get any better? I'd also love to invite you to come and chat with me. <laughs> So you guys hear all sorts of stories about me. You probably know me quite well based on what I share in all my content and my classes and everything. And I've opened up a weekly Zoom where I chat with you. 
anybody who would like to, you'll find the link, you can opt in and you'll get the email. We just hop on Zoom for five to seven minutes and you just tell me about you. I've got some really fun questions to ask you just so that I can start to get to know who you are because I miss that. I really, really miss that. So anyway, have a fabulous week, sweet friends, and I look forward to chatting again next week.